Yo Lantru and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and we still have to talk about the new stuff that came in with the Galaxy Quest crossover arc and today we need to talk about the other rare officer that came in. It's Laliari. You see it's another preview video. I always make a preview video when a new officer comes in and later on during my A to Z officer series after I got these officers I will talk about the experience with them, how to use them, also about the um, away team assignments which you can't see before you have them. But I still want to do the preview when they come out because they're interesting enough. And uh, so we have a look at the stats. Laliari is class engineering, which means you need engineering badges to upgrade her. She's from the group NSEA Protector, which means if she's on the bridge with a captain of that group, she can give synergy to that captain. And it says faction independent, which in the past meant that you need independent credits. But uh, as I said in, in some of the videos already, I expect um, that when I finally have those officers, I will see that I will need something like uh, raw omega trillium or liquid omega trillium or whatever to upgrade them. They did that with the mirror crews and I expect that from the protector crews as well. If you haven't seen the movie Galaxy Quest, you might want to have a look at the text here in the info box. There's always a text in the info box about the officers. And in case of those like her from a movie, they're usually longer. And especially when you don't know the movie, have a look here. As you could already hear, she does not have a captain maneuver, but she does have an officer ability and a below deck ability. The officer ability is the Omega efficiency, which already s tells us that she definitely is an officer for the NSEA protector. And she's uh, someone who will be really helpful here because you know that the Omega 13 device does have quite a long cooldown time. And she decreases the cooldown of the Omega 13 ability by 66% in the beginning and it will be 400% or eight minutes at rank five. I like that, that they put the eight minutes in here so you don't have to calculate yourself. And um, so it will reduce that to two minutes in the end, if I'm correct. And that will definitely help because while you're in Mirror Universe, you can uh, use it twice, get a little bit more loot if you want to, for example, and uh, then have your uh, protector still alive to get it out of the Mirror Universe. And her below deck ability, um, the name, ya, ya la la la, I, I will not say it like she did in the movie. For those who saw the movie, um, it's clear, but those who haven't, uh, that's what she said when her um, translator wasn't working. So we all know that from the movie, at least those of us who've seen it. And that means she increases the apex barrier by 1000 when in a wave defense. So we have two rare officers coming in with Galaxy Quest that are helpful in the wave defense. Dane, we talked about this week already with his impulse speed. And now she, especially for the wave defense with an apex barrier. I don't uh, need it that much at the moment because I'm only doing level 40 mirror universe, um, uh, mirror universe wave defenses. In the mirror universe ones, I might need it, but I still, um, will put her then below deck because um, in the mirror universe once uh, Microsia gets hit in the end uh, quite badly but in, in the normal level 40 once it, it survives but it will be a help for a lot of people to put her below deck for wave defenses so I really like her both of her abilities and it's really fun that uh, with both rare officers I'm really that happy with with their um, abilities it's I was anyway happy I said that before that they finally did something outside of PvP. They sneaked in some PvP there as well, but um, majorly it's for, for different things. And I really like that we had enough PvP recently and they, it's regularly coming back, but they changed the crews around, etc. And so I'm really happy about the two rare officers that they are helpful for the rest of the gameplay because for me, um, Star Trek Fleet Command is not a PvP game. It's a game that includes PvP. So all the other things, the missions, the grinding, even if it's a hell of a lot of grinding, and uh, the events, etc., the PvE is just a package for me. 
that needs to be balanced and and uh, that that's what what makes the good gameplay for me if one of those um, things of the whole whole collection gets an overweight then I would lose the fun about it. But if it's balanced and now they are swinging the scales a bit back to, to other things than PvP with those officers, for example, the right balance must be there. It must all be in there. There must be PvP in there. But it should not be the dominating one. If I want to have something like this, I will play an ego shooter. And so I'm really happy about Dane and about Laliari and their abilities. As you can see, and as I said in the beginning, I cannot tell you anything about the away team traits yet. I will do that in the A to Z video about Laliari later. But as a rare officer, she should have two of those abilities. The bad thing about Dane and her is the way how to get her. So far, um, I forgot to, to say, I've got 16 of the 38 charts for her. And at the moment, there's no other way than a little bit via the missions and some events to get shots from, from her so far. That's the 16 I've got. But she's not in the current battle pass. We don't know about the second battle pass yet. Um, by, but I expect to see her in uh, the shop at some point. At the moment, Dane is in the shop when I'm filming this. I'm not always filming the videos in the... Um, in the order that you see them. So I have to do some pre-work from time to time that has to do with the amount of videos for all my channels I'm filming in, in a week. And so um, I filmed this one quite early. And here at the moment is Dane in there. When the video comes out, it might be that Laliari is in the shop as, as well, but at the moment she isn't. And I don't know if she will be in the um, next battle pass, but we will see that Dane was in this one, for example. There's only an event at the moment where you can score if you unlock Dane or Laliari. So that's why I expect her to be in the shop soon as well, within the 12 days it's running. Um, but at the moment, as I said, it isn't. And talking about pre-filming, um, the video will come out on my round birthday. So today is my round birthday. And um, I just want to say, if I don't answer any requests for Discord links today, please don't uh, be angry or whatever. I have some, some appointments today that I have to follow after working. It's a usual working day for me, so I will be filming videos today, but in the afternoon I will I will leave and uh, be a little bit busy with my round birthday. So don't mind, please, that you get a Discord link, for example, a day later. Because everyone who's not on my Discord yet, um, have a look in the pinned comments under the videos there. You can see how you can get access. Uh, the access is free, everybody is welcome and uh, there's no prerequisites or whatever. So if you want to join my Discord, please do. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.